my fellow mermaids and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a swatch and review for you of the new Rogue Lacquer launches. This will all be available on November 26 for her Black Friday sale, which they will release on November 26 at 8 p.m. Mountain Time, which is 7 p.m. Pacific, uh, 9 p.m. Central and 10 p.m. Eastern, just so you know all the different um, time zones. And there, there will be different sales and discounts already on her site for those dates which will range between 10 and 30% off if I'm not mistaken without any code required and she will have nail polishes and nail care uh, items up for grabs so I am going to show them all to you now and I hope you enjoy them this is a new brand to my channel but I have used Rogue Lacquers or Rachel which is the owner uh, polishes and products before. I had the pleasure of meeting her last year for the indie shop on Anaheim back in May and yeah I'm really excited to share this with you. I hope you enjoy them. He's getting tired of this. So without any further ado I have a ton of polishes and nail care items to share with you so let's get into the swatches. I'm starting these swatches with the winter trio which consists of three flaky pack crellies. Having a Meltdown is a pebble grey squishy curly with turquoise metallic flakes. This polish has a buttery smooth formula and just because it looks a bit sheer on the first coat, don't let that fool you. I got it completely opaque in just two and the flakes really pop against the dark base color. Here's two coats of Having a Meltdown with a glossy and matte top coat. Spice Plums is a plum purple squishy curly with red metallic flakes. Out of all three polishes in this trio, I found this one to have the thinnest formula, but I still got it completely opaque in just three. It was almost fully opaque in two, but I had a couple patches that I wanted to cover up. And I have to say the flaky and base combination on this one is really beautiful. And if you love the red metallic flakies as much as I did, then stay tuned to see a very special polish with them in just a bit. Here are three coats of Spice Plums with a glossy and matte top coat. Frosted Flakes is a petrol blue squishy curly with platinum silver metallic flakes. No surprise that this is my favorite out of the three. And oh my god, the formula is just stunning. You get a ton of flakes in each layer without having to do anything special. Also, I don't know if I love this one more matte or glossy. Let me know in the comments which one do you like more. Here's two coats of Frosted Flakes with a glossy and matte top coat. Now let's move on to the Holiday 2020 Trio. You Slay Me is a forest green squishy curly with red metallic flakes. Once again, another buttery smooth formula and for being a curly it covers almost completely for me in just one coat. You also get a ton of flakes in each layer and this one totally looks like a Christmas tree on your nails. Here's two coats of You Slay Me with a glossy and matte top coat. The Christmas curly is a white curly base with gold, red and green metallic flakes. I have to say I'm not a Christmas person at all, but these types of curlies always get me. This is the quintessential Christmas polish and I also love using these polishes for Mexico's Independence Day, since our flag has the same colors. You may need three coats with this one depending on your application, but I saw it completely opaque in just two. Here's two coats of the Christmas curly with a glossy and matte top coat. Baulini Year is a champagne holo with intense pink gold color shifting shimmer and micro gold holo glitters. I had the hardest time trying to show you how beautiful this polish is, because holographic and shimmery polishes are not the best under direct lights. This one looks just like a silvery polish here, but believe me it has the most beautiful pink to gold shimmer in it. And even though I apply three coats here, it can be easily worn in just two. Here's three coats of Baulini Year with a glossy and matte top coat. Shattered Balls is a silvery glitter flake bomb of sparkle with turquoise metallic flakes. This is Rogue's Dark Buster, which will be $6 the entire weekend through Cyber Monday while supplies last. But it will be $10 starting Tuesday, December 1st if there is any stock remaining or for any restocks. This one was inspired by Shattered Vintage Christmas Bulbs. This polish represents every broken bulb and all the Christmas sparkles rolled into one. It built up completely for me in three coats and it sparkles like crazy. Here's three coats of Shatter Balls with a glossy and matte top coat. Bed of Roses is a red metallic flake topper. 
Rogue is becoming quite popular by the use of red metallic microflakes. So Rachel decided to extract the base and give us this awesome red flake effect topper. This is honestly one of my top picks, not only for the name, which I'll explain later why, but also because it looks amazing over black, and over white it looks like peppermint candy. Here's one coat of Better Roses over black with a glossy and matte top coat. Lastly, I'm going to show you the new bases and top coats that are going to be available for the launch. In the Night is a black undie that is not only a great black base, but it is also infused with a combo of rogues, hydrating and nourishing base coats to help strengthen your nails and give greater polish adhesion for longer lasting manicures. This is the base I use for Better Roses and I was so impressed that it was a one coater. It's honestly the perfect black base and since it's infused you don't need to add any other base coats if you don't want to. Here's one coat of In The Night. Vortex is a nail bed healer. This base contains lavender extract, ginseng root extract and calcium fluoride to help repair damage done to the nail by gel polish and acrylic nails. It soothes and strengthens the nails and aids in preventing and splitting and chipping. This moisturizing product creates a protective barrier to aid in keeping harmful elements out. Here's one coat of Vortex. Desert Spring is a hydrating sticky base with scented options available and it is infused with water from Prickly Pear that replenishes, revitalizes and boosts hydration while hydrofunctional actives from coconut and castor beam form a protective cover to the nails. Here's one coat of Desert Springs. Desert Oasis is an empowering base coat. This nail strengthener creates an almost invisible, strong, protective shield over the nail. Vitamins B5 and C nourish, hydrate, and protect the nails. Biotin helps stimulate the formation of the nail's keratin. Here's one coat of Desert Oasis. Desert Retreat is a nourishing base coat. This treatment is the deepest nutrition, most quenching program for nails. In just three weeks, nails gain strength and give you a nail redo, giving you a silky smooth and protected finish. It contains an extra smoothing complex to seal down keratin cells. Here's one coat of Desert Retreat. Desert Sun is a protective glossy top coat. A fast drying glossy top coat with the ability to dry up to four thin coats of nail polish in three minutes. It also contains an UV inhibitor that prevents nail discoloration. This top coat is a wonderful protective manicure sealer and it's also 10 free. Here's one coat of Desert Sun over the Holiday 2020 trio. Cactus Water, their OG glossy top coat, available in scented options, is a clear top coat that goes on smooth and stays put. This 10 free quick dry top coat is long lasting and void of many chemicals that one would find in traditional nail polish. Here's one coat of Cactus Water over Shatter Balls and Better Roses. Mirage is a smooth matte top coat that will give any polish a smooth and frosty finish. I have tried this matte top coat on all the swatches and I can say it has a super fast drying time and it leaves a true matte look on the nail. Here's one coat of Mirage over the Winter Trio. And here's a look of all 16 polishes in Rogue Lacquer's Black Friday releases as well as the new bases and top coats. So I have a couple of standouts and these are polishes and well technically one base coat. Um, I'm trying her base and top coats so I'll let you know later how I feel about them. So far so good. I have them on my right hand because on this hand I do wear regular base coat but on my left hand which is my model my Instagram hand that I wear peel of base coat. If not I would have to use a ton of acetone and I try not to use as much because even though I take care of my nails and my hands and hydrate them, all this hand washing and sanitizing and the cold weather here, finally, <laughs> it's getting to them. So I try to avoid acetone as much as possible, but I really wanted to give them a try. So I'm using them on my right hand. So I'll let you know later how I feel about them, which I'm sure they will be great. And I also wanted to note that I love the fact that all her nail care uh, names are based from Arizona and she lives there so I love the names re like desert and cacti anything like that related I I really enjoyed uh, looking at all the names but getting back to the polishes like I always say in no, no particular order I 
I really love them all. These are my standouts. So first off were two of her Winter Trio Flaky Krillis, which is spice, spite, Spiced Plums and Frosted Flakes. This two colors, blue and purple, are my favorites. And I know Rachel is like the queen of flakies, so no surprise that I love this too. Um, the colors are beautiful. I actually love the contrast of both different color flakies within the different color bases. So these are two of my standouts. I also loved the Christmas Curly, which is this one. Uh, disclaimer, I am not a huge uh, Christmas fan. I'm a bit of a Grinch to be honest, but I do appreciate and love a good white Christmas Crelly. So this is like really pretty. Um, I'm loving the different color flakies. They're like the quintessential Christmas colors, red, gold, green on a white base, but I can already see myself wearing this one with different Christmas designs. So another standout. And this is a duo because, as I said, it's one of the base coats, which is called In The Night, the infused color uh, black base. But this one, paired with Bed of Roses, which is the red uh, flaky topper, this has like a very meaningful and special significance to me because um, I love Bon Jovi, which is my favorite group, for years now. and. The fact that it's called Bed of Roses, I don't know if it was intentional, but for me, it's the Bon Jovi song. So yeah, I love this one. And as I've said before, I'm not a huge like glitter flaky topper fan, but I've been loving doing jelly sandwiches with this ones. So this is another one that I have to try, maybe with Cuticula's Coconut Milk Sorbet, which I use it all the time. So I want to see how it contrasts like the different layers of the white sheer base with this one. I think it's going to look really amazing. And I loved it over black. Um, yeah, I just really love this mainly because of the name because it's... For me it's Bon Jovi. Sorry. Sorry if it's not, but for me it's, gonna, it's always going to be a Bon Jovi shade. Which I don't have any, so yay, now I have one in my collection. <laughs> So remember, Rogue Lacquer sale for Black Friday will be live of November 26, 8 p.m. Mountain Time, 7 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Central, 10 p.m. Eastern. Let me double check. Yes, I got them right. As always, as I say in, my, in all my videos, I will leave all the information because it's a ton of information down in the description as well as Rogue Lacquer site, her Instagram, her Facebook page, so you can see more swatches of everything and you can get to know more of each nail care item specifically because I believe there's going to be scented options. I'm not sure about this. like. I'm 99% sure. So anyway, I will leave all the information below so you can check it out. She has amazing polishes. I will leave all the information below. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And if I can answer them, I will. And if not, I will maybe direct you to someone that can. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out of any of my upcoming videos. As always, I will leave my Instagram page and all my other social media handles in the description below. And until next time, have a bubbly day!